F9. The Fast Saga. 1989 Jack Toretto, J.D. Pardo, is competing in a race, with sons Dom, Vinnie Bennett, and Jacob, Finn Cole, working on his crew. Dom lashes out at some other crew members for racer Kenny Linder, Jim Parrak, antagonizing his dad, but Jack tells Dom not to pay them mind. Jack gets back out on the track, but Linder clips Jack's car, causing it to fly and blow up mid-air, leaving Dom devastated. Present day Dom, Vin Diesel, and Letty, Michelle Rodriguez, live quietly in the countryside with little Brian, Isaac and Emmanuel Holtain. As Dom shows Brian how to work a tractor, they spot a car approaching their home. Dom and Letty arm themselves until they see it's just Roman, Therese Gibson, Tedge, Chris Ludacris Bridges, and Ramsey, Natalie Emanuel. They inform them that Mr. Nobody, Kurt Russell, was seeking out a top-secret device and hunting cipher, Charlie's Theron, when his plane was shot down and crashed on an island, and he has gone missing. The trio asks for Dom and Letty's help, but they are hesitant now that they are raising a family. However, the two agree to go along. Later that night, after putting little Brian to bed, Dom and Letty discuss the mission and how Brian and Mia, Jordana Brewster, made it out of this business once they became parents, but Letty notes that they are not Brian and Mia. She leaves for a motorcycle ride, and Dom reviews the video of Mr. Nobody, spotting a familiar cross symbol that he recognizes from a postcard he received of Mexico from a while back. The gang travels to the island of Monte Quinto and finds the wreckage of the plane. They uncover half of the device just before a team of gunmen fire upon the gang. The heroes drive away and come across a minefield, killing some of the gunmen, while Roman just barely escapes getting crushed or blown up. He joins Tedge and Ramsey as they manage to drive over a downed bridge in time before they fall to their doom. Dom and Letty are then startled when they see Jacob, now played by John Cena, grab the device and make off with it. The two give chase and catch him near the edge of a cliff until a large magnetized drone flies in and picks Jacob up. Dom and Letty then drive over the cliff and manage to latch onto rope from the bridge and, somewhat, safely land on another cliffside. As the heroes go home, Letty informs the rest of the team that Jacob is Dom's brother. A flashback shows the aftermath of Jack's death. Linder came by making snide comments regarding Jack and then attacked Dom. Dom retaliated by nearly beating Linder to death with a wrench, getting himself sent to prison. While working as a mechanic there, he met Leo and Santos, who referred to the incident that killed Jack and how Jacob was the last person working on the car before he died. After Dom was released, he went down to the meetup spot with Mia, Letty, Vince, and the rest of their crew, before challenging Jacob to a race after confronting him over what happened to their father. Dom told Jacob that if he lost, he would have to keep driving and never return. During the race, both Toretto's utilized nose to boost their cars, but Jacob went too early, allowing Dom to win and forcing Jacob to flee in exile. Jacob meets with his partner, Otto, Thurstad Rasmussen. At their base, they are keeping Cipher in a glass cage. She knows about Jacob and his drive to be better than Dom, but when she offers him a chance to join her and get back at him, Jacob declines and is confident in working on his own. He presents half of the device to Cipher, and she reveals to him and Otto that the other half they seek is in Edinburgh. The gang goes to their hideout, where Dom feels that he must carry the weight of the mission due to Jacob. Meanwhile, Roman muses to Tedge and Ramsey that they must invincible due to coming out of numerous insane scenarios practically unscathed, but they think he's full of shit. Later, Mia joins everyone because she still cares for Jacob. Ramsey then explains to everyone that the device is called Project Ares, which can be used to hack into any system and would allow someone like Jacob to control things like the world's cache of nuclear weapons. It is also discovered that there were prints belonging to one person among Mr. Nobody's research hand. Dom then notes that the postcard he got of Mexico was sent the day Han supposedly died, and it has a stamp on it from Tokyo, where Han said he would go with Yusel. Dom goes to find Buddy, Michael Rooker, an old family friend that worked with Dom Jack. Dom knows Buddy took Jacob in after he went into exile, and Mia also briefly kept in touch with him until he just vanished. Buddy informs Dom that Jacob is going to be in London, but he tells Dom he hopes he finds peace. Mia and Letty go to Tokyo to track Han down. After seemingly finding no leads, they spot an apartment with a Mexican flag, alluding to Han always talking about how Tokyo is his Mexico in terms of a place where bandits retreat. They find a young woman in the apartment named Del, Anna Sawai, who knows them too, and warns them when armed thugs attack. Mia and Letty then proceed to fight off the goons and get El out of the apartment. The remaining gunmen are killed by Han with a sniper rifle. Roman and Tedge find Sean Boswell, Lucas Black, 
plus Eddie Hu, Jason Tobin, and Twinkie, Bo Wow, and ask for assistance on behalf of Dom. They are seen working on a Pontiac Fiero with a rocket strapped to it. After testing it out, the trio is proud that it made it far enough without blowing up, and then the car explodes. Dom makes it to London and runs into Queenie Shaw, Helen Murren, just after she robs a jewelry store. They make their getaway from the authorities, while Dom asks Queenie if she has heard anything about Jacob. She tells him that she has heard of him and his crew turning up in Edinburgh. Queenie drops Dom off at a mansion where Otto is hosting a party. Dom manages to gain entrance to confront Jacob, but he orders his older brother to leave as he made him do so all those years earlier. Dom is forced to leave when an armed team apparently working for Otto shows up. Dom is taken into custody, but it is revealed that the team is led by an old friend named Lisa, Cardi B, who helps Dom get out. Roman, Tedge, and Ramsey arrive in London just as Jacob and Otto begin to enact their heist. Ramsey notices that the security cameras are going haywire, meaning something from Jacob's team is blocking them out. Roman and Tedge find some large truck drivers and fight them on Roman's suspicion. It turns out they are driving a truck with an electromagnetic field, and it has allowed Jacob to find the second piece of Ares. He starts making his escape via zipline, but Dom spots him and chases after him. Roman and Tedge fight more goons inside the truck, while Ramsey clumsily commandeers it through the streets of London, crashing into many cars along the way. Dom catches Jacob and fights him, but the younger Toretto makes his escape in his own car. After Dom joins the other three, they use the truck to pull Jacob's car toward them. After this setback, Otto and his men return to their base. Cipher taunts him and says that this is the part where the villain suffers a setback and she is prepared to offer a solution. The gang brings Jacob into their custody. Mia and Letty return with Han and Elle to the hideout, with all the guys elated to see Han again. He explains the circumstances surrounding his death, after Giselle died, he went to Tokyo, where he had been recruited by Mr. Nobody since he had previously worked with Giselle and thought he could also trust Han. After Deckard Shaw came into the picture, they saw it as an opportunity to fake his death. Elle's parents worked on Project Ares and were killed for it when she was a child. Han came to protect her since her blood is the key component in activating Ares. Otto and his goons soon attack the hideout. Here, it is revealed that Jacob was an agent of Mr. Nobody's that went rogue, and he also reveals to Dom that their father had intended to throw the race that day to be compensated for the family's debts, and he personally asked Jacob to mess with the car, but they kept it from Dom to protect his view of Jack, and Jacob never anticipated what would happen. The heroes fight Otto's men as he and Jacob make off with L and the second piece of as Ares. most of the team gets out, Dom stays behind and pulls on some chains to bring down a platform with himself and the other goons hitting the water below. Dom appears to have a vision, showing Jack teaching him and Jacob as children about fixing cars. He sees little Brian asking him when he is coming home. He then sees a memory in which he saw Jack having a tense phone call, lending credence to what Jacob said about their troubles. Just when it looks like Dom is ready to give in, Letty jumps into the water and rescues him. Otto launches a satellite into orbit that will help with control of Ares. They also force L to activate it. They drive their armored truck through Tbilisi while the heroes make their way toward that area. Tedge and Roman use a rocket car on top of a drone and they are launched into orbit as well to try and destroy the satellite. The gang uses the villain's electromagnets to take out incoming vans as they get closer to Jacob and Otto. Mia and Han make it to the truck with Elle inside and kill the goons guarding her. Dom catches up to Jacob and fights him briefly until Otto reveals he is betraying Jacob and is now working with Cipher. The heroes magnetize their car to the truck and Dom and Mia help Jacob get to safety. Dom then comes up with a plan to get the cars to magnetize to the front of the truck and with Jacob's help, they send it flipping upwards until they get it out of the city. Ares is nearly done uploading, but Tedge and Roman's car craps out on them, leaving them no choice but to ram into the satellite in order to destroy it and sever the link. On the outskirts of the city, Dom is still inside the truck with Otto, while Cipher sends a drone after Dom. Just as she fires a blast at the truck, Dom manages to jump out while Otto blows up inside the truck, and the impact causes the truck to smash into Cipher's drone. Frustrated at another defeat, she makes her getaway once more. Meanwhile, some astronauts from a space station come across Tedge and Roman. Dom then buries the hatchet with Jacob, and he parts ways with Dom and Mia once more. After returning home, Dom takes little Brian to the racetrack, where Jack used to race. 
One last flashback shows teenage Dom and Jacob consoling each other after Jack's death, meaning there was always love between them. The gang has another barbecue, this time with Santos, Don Omar, joining them, while he says Leo opened up a restaurant in Brooklyn, but the food is bad. Han brings L, and he reunites with Sean, Twinkie, and Earl. Just as everyone is getting ready to say grace, they wait for just one more guest, Brian. During the credits, Deckard Shaw, Jason Statham, is seen punching a bag, which is an unknown man inside that Deckard is beating for information. There is then a knock at his door, and he is startled when he is greeted by Han, whom he was believed to have killed. Just when it seems like Dom and Letty can finally settle down peacefully with Dom's son little Brian, their friends recruit them to locate their government buddy Mr. Nobody. The mission goes deeper when it's revealed that their new enemy is Dom and Mia's estranged brother Jacob, whom Dom had sent into exile following the death of their father Jack since Jacob last worked on Jack's car before the race that killed him. Jacob and his associate Otto are trying to get their hands on a super weapon called Project Ares, which would allow them to do something like control the world's cache of nuclear weapons. The component to activating the device literally falls in the hands of a young woman named Elle, whose parents developed Ares and were killed when she was a child. She had been protected by Han, who had apparently faked his death after working with Mr. Nobody. Dom gets help from nearly everyone he can, from Queenie Shaw to the gang from Tokyo Drift, to get close to Jacob, but Otto helps Jacob get out and takes both Elle and Ares. The showdown takes place and Polissi as the villains activate the device. Tej and Roman are launched into space to destroy the satellite that connects Ares, while Otto betrays Jacob and is now working with Cipher. Dom and Mia rescue their brother while getting the truck containing Ares out of the city. Cipher sends a drone after Dom, but she ends up hitting and killing Otto, which in turn causes her drone to be destroyed, although she still escapes. Dom reconciles with Jacob, and he parts ways from Dom and Mia again. The gang returns home to celebrate as an even bigger family, and they are even rejoined by Brian. 